Hey, my name is Yegor Polakoff and I'm a 16 year old content creator. On my YouTube channel, Yegs TV, I post skits, short films, and also vlogs. And to edit those videos, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Believe it or not, I'm completely self-taught. I never took a Premiere editing class. I learned everything I know here on YouTube. Over the summer, my family and I spent a week in Croatia, and I filmed all of it. The full 10 minute vlog will go up on my channel called Yegs TV or linked somewhere around this video. I want to go over some of the effects I use in this video and teach you guys how to do them yourselves. And without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing I want to teach you guys is how to make the location pins. I use these to introduce the new locations into the video and give the viewers a sense of where I am. So the first thing you guys want to do is go to your web browser and type in pin PNG. The PNG will try to load up all the transparent pins you can find. So this is the one I used. And after finding the one you like, you right click it and click save image as, and then just save it wherever you want. And all you have to do is just drag it into Premiere. This is a high resolution image, so it's way bigger than the actual video. So make sure to right click it and click scale to frame size. To make it smaller, you go to effect controls, make sure you're selected, and scroll on the scale to make it smaller. So, and get it to the size you want, that's a pretty good size, and you can move it on the X and Y axis by use, using positioning right here. So maybe a little bit smaller there, that's a good size, perfect, awesome. Now you want to write in the location name. So get your text tool over here, click right beside your new pin, and write in the name. This was SPLIT. I'm going to do it in all caps. I'm going to go to my essential graphics panel over here, and select a new font. I believe the font I used was BBASC New. And then you can also just make this bigger, as big as the pin, and then just center it um, just by using your eye. And I love giving it a drop shadow. I prefer having a hard shadow rather than a soft shadow. If you guys really want to continue the theme of the drop shadow, you go to effects, type in drop shadow, and drag it on top of the pin image. Then make the opacity 100, and then just recreate the distance of the drop shadow and the text onto the pin. So now just select both the text and the image, right click and click nest. So now it's a folder that I can just move around and just add effects to. So let's make the entire thing bigger. Yeah, that's a good size. If we watch the clip over, the clip is very shaky. You can fix this with warp stabilization, but I want to keep it raw. So um, I want to change the pin up a bit. To make it fit with the background more, I downloaded a handheld preset. Um, you can find any type of handheld preset on YouTube, on Google, anywhere. I use the fake handheld movement from Cinecom.net. Um, I really love their stuff and they have the best presets. So let's use a uh, wide and smooth. After dragging on the wide smooth, let's see how it fits the background. It's very subtle. If we turn the video off, we can see the movement. It makes it that more realistic. And um, and you can increase the movement by adding any of these other presets, but I love using Wide Smooth for these location pins. The second thing I want to teach you guys is LUTs. LUT stands for a lookup table, but um, it's about color. It's the easiest way to color correct your video and make it seem so much better. I have this clip of me and my mom sitting on the boat. Nothing's really happening, it's kind of boring, but let's spice it up. So to apply a LUT, you go to your Lumetri color page. Here, click on Creative, and you just see a look and a drop down menu. So Premiere has all these presets you can use. Let's just click on this one. And you see automatically it changes up the look. So let's go back to None. I actually downloaded a LUT pack from Film Riot. Film Riot's an awesome YouTube channel with tutorials on Premiere and After Effects, and they were selling cinematic LUT packs. So I bought one, so I'll be using the LUTs from them. If you do buy a LUT pack from some Film Riot or from somewhere else, you will have a folder of LUTs. You click on the drop down menu and go to Browse. If you do download a LUT pack, make sure you click on the Cube and Standard folders. My personal favorite from the LUT pack is the Spider-Man Homecoming one. It has a perfect blue and orange feel, and automatically the clip looks so much better. Here's with it on and off. And if you don't like it that much, you can, you can lower the intensity over here. 
And if you really like the left for whatever reason, you can drag it all the way up and make it super orange and teal, but I like to keep it where it is at 100. If you want to make the next clip you have the same LUT, you can always just right click, uh, copy, and then right click paste attributes, but here's the easy way. If you're trying to apply a LUT to multiple clips, don't apply it to each single clip. I was just showing you guys as an example. Okay, so let's uncheck the LUT. So go down here to new item and click adjustment layer. And just click OK. And now you have a new adjustment layer. You can see I've been using them a lot. And then drag the adjustment layer above your clips. So let's twist it out. And now we apply the LUT to the adjustment layer. And now the next clip has the same exact LUT applied to it. So um, yeah, so that's how you use LUTs in Adobe Premiere. The next thing I want to go over was syncing audio and visual content. I want to show you guys an example of this. So to do this, make sure your music layer is enlarged. Most of you guys will see your music layer like this, so double click on the blank space over here. This allows you to see the waveforms. If we zoom in, you can see the individual beats and they cut exactly on those beats. Cutting your visual content on waveforms make your content seem much more professional, so I really recommend you guys doing that. And that's it guys. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and maybe I even inspire you guys to go edit yourself on Adobe Premiere. If you guys want to try out Adobe Premiere for yourselves and the rest of the Creative Cloud, make sure you guys use the links in the description. Okay, peace guys, see ya.